President Trump broke his silence today on Rob Porter, the staff secretary who resigned Wednesday amid reports that he had abused two former wives as the White House faced more questions today about how his case was handled. Chip Reed is at the White House. In the Oval Office today, President Trump had kind words for former senior advisor Rob Porter. But we certainly wish him well. It's a uh, obviously tough time for him. He did a very good job when he was in the White House. As for allegations by Porter's ex-wives that he abused them, the president appeared to give Porter the benefit of the doubt. As you probably know, he says he's innocent. And I think you have to remember that. Chief of Staff John Kelly, who was in the room as the president spoke, has been at the center of the response to the Porter controversy, which the White House concedes has been mishandled. Porter told White House counsel Don McGahn more than a year ago that his background check for a security clearance might reveal unflattering information, but provided few details. This past November, Porter himself told Kelly that his ex-wives had made accusations that Porter denied. When the abuse allegations became public Tuesday, Kelly came to Porter's defense, stating, Rob Porter is a man of true integrity and honor. On Wednesday, photos surfaced of one of Porter's ex-wives with a black eye. Press Secretary Sarah Sanders that afternoon. And the president and chief of staff have had full confidence and trust in his abilities and his performance. She later announced that Porter would resign. That night, Kelly finally said he was shocked by the new allegations, but he also stood by his previous comments of the Rob Porter that I have come to know. This was Kelly in October. You know, when I was a kid growing up, a lot of things were sacred in our country. Women were sacred. And looked upon with great honor. That's obviously not the case anymore. Today in South Korea, Vice President Mike Pence said he became aware of the accusations Wednesday. Well, I was appalled when I learned of the allegations. There is no tolerance in this White House and no place in America for domestic abuse. CBS News has learned that Kelly told the president he'd be willing to submit his resignation if the president thought that would be a good idea. But a senior White House official tells us resignation is unlikely, at least for now. Jeff? Chip Reed at the White House tonight. Chip, thank you very much.